Many artists turn to PR agents for publicity. Now, misunderstanding the role of a PR agent can seriously hurt your pockets as a new artist or new musician or even a new record label. So let me get this straight. You're seeking exposure, but you're also going after a PR agent. My question to you is why you're doing that. But number two is, are you seeking to spin a narrative about yourself or are you seeking to initiate one? The distinction between the two and what they do may be a bit confusing, but although PR is a form of promotion, is it really the promotion that you truly need? We gotta talk about this coming up right here on the Music Money Makeover Show. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Music Money Makeover Show. My name is Casey Graham, and I've seen a number of record labels on the come up spend a lot of money on PR that never really amounted to anything. I don't know what they thought they were going to get from it, but they just wasted a bag with it. And because they did, you know, the label failed at that. They ran through all the money and it was like, yo, well, we got to find a new place or a new, a new bag to, you know what I'm saying, to attach ourselves to. So we need to talk about what PR is really going to do for you. Because when I was on the come up, if we needed some write-ups, which is really what most people are trying to get initially, you can just reach out to them. Right. As long as you have some traction, you can make it happen. So let's jump into today's show. All right. Here's the plan. Really pay attention to this because this is going to go quite fast. It's not going to be as lengthy as you may think. And it's going to be quite simple. Check it out. Days one through three is where we're going to put our teasers and sample content out. So this could be pictures of artwork, pictures in the studio and any documented creative processes that do not give away the single in audio form. You want to showcase the bits and pieces of your creative process. Okay. Pictures of, you know, you writing stuff in the studio, maybe pictures of the lyrics, um, you know, pictures of you in the studio recording, pictures of you mixing and mastering. And you, you can tell it like a story under the captions. Wonder what we're doing. Here we go. Gearing up for something big. Just you wait and see. We got captions like that under static photos and you can start a photo campaign from day one through three okay this photo campaign can lead you into the next days and you can continue to use that when you're dropping your next pieces of content and we're going to make the motion now with bts all right this is behind the scenes uh footage here video content this is going to happen from day four through six until the drop so from day one through three we got static stuff we're going to double it up with video content from day four through six. So now we're putting out two pieces of content a day. You can see how we're really starting to concentrate this thing. All of the BTS content should focus on the single first before you focus on everything else because I know you got other stuff you're doing, but we really want to block that out if we can. And if you're new, you can do that. If you're not, probably not. Okay, you got other stuff going on. You want to block everything out so that you can really shine the light on the single. Two pieces of content a day. This is where we're at in the first six days. Day one through three, one day four through six, we're doing two a day. Day seven through nine, we're at three pieces of content a day. This is what we're doing. We're doing audio samples and we're dropping the single on day nine. Now, we're never going to stop with the single snippets, the audio samples, because we can do that on TikTok and Instagram anyway. But we want to drop our audio snippets on days seven and eight. And then on day nine, we want to drop the single. But we also want to make the post with the snippets in it saying that our single is coming soon on seven and eight. And then nine, where you can go get it at the link in bio. So we're up to three pieces of content a day. At this point, the audience now knows that a single is about to be dropped. What do we do after day nine and the drop of the single? Essentially, what we did right here from days one through day nine is we initiated a short run and we're almost finished with it because we got to add three more days onto it to get to day 12. But we didn't answer the people's questions. They hear the single coming, but now they want to know what's all this BTS footage. We, we shot all this BTS stuff and they want to know everything behind it because what you have is the actions and antics. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of turn this into a documentary thing. We now have to tell the story about the single because if you notice in days one through nine, we didn't do that. So here comes our publicity, day 10 through 12. Talk about how you made the song and include all creators, producers, writers, and engineers. And then drop music video snippets because that's coming too, just hang on. And make sure any podcast or independent radio shows you appeared on, 
drop their interviews in the tight window. We need to get the word out about what we're dropping. Our product, our new product is the single. So we need to publicize that and get the public to relate to what we're talking about in the single. You understand what I'm saying? We have a very tight window to do this. You might not be on a podcast, but if you can schedule one, you know, maybe a week prior to dropping your release and they can get the the uh, audio out to you, great. If not, you can do your own podcast. You can answer your own questions to the camera directly yourself. But, you know, ultimately, the sit down that you have with your creators will suffice and you'll be good there. Any write-ups in local media and blogs should be dropped at this time as well as influencer reviews and videos. And this is all to maximize the moment. We're in our short run right now. Days 1 through 12 is our initial bang. After the bang, we'll have a taper off and that will be the long run. Short run, long run. So day 10 through 12, we're dropping publicity stuff and we're dropping music video snippets. We have now up the ante to almost five pieces of content a day. Video snippets and any publicity snippets when it, I mean, not snippets, but publicity videos when it comes to talking about the story of the song and the creative process. Five pieces of content a day, super duper concentrated at this point. Now, day 12, we're going to drop the music video. OK, take your single on tour for however long until your next single cycle and continue to work the single to increase exposure when you get the signs of the downfall, start up your next run. Now, here's what you can do, because five pieces of content a day is a lot for a lot of people. So after we get to day 12, you can reverse this plan back, and we can go from five pieces of content a day to, to, three, pieces, okay, to three pieces of content a day to two and back to one, and then you can get back on your regularly scheduled program. Or you can you can go into the next single cycle if you want to. Ultimately, if you build it up and you build it back down, you will have a concentrated window of 24 days, 12 days up, 12 days down. Now we have a successful run of a single. And because we did all that work and we got people to listen through our social media pages and our followings, because we didn't add, you know, extra playlist promotion and ads and all that stuff. We didn't do none of that stuff yet. We just utilize our following to get the numbers up. Okay, and you can do this. Once this is done, any newbies that's coming along to jump on your bandwagon can now see the work that you that you've done. Okay? And you will begin to win. All you have to do now is double up your cycles, combining cycles. You can really do this up to 5 times until the listeners want a project. This could give you the exposure that you're looking for if carefully executed. So, if we have 24 and 24, 24 and 24, And then 24, man, you really have a successful run for your first project or your second project or your third project that will ultimately break the public consciousness, okay? Because you put in all this work, people now know that this is something serious that you're trying to do here. We want to see the grind. We want to see the story. We want to see all of that. And this is a way that you can concentrate it into 12 days or 24 days. I recommend you do this. Will this yield success? Will this well-orchestrated, concentrated release plan overcome the dilemma of frequency versus quality, yielding more successful single releases? Absolutely, yes, it will. It will because you will get to see the results you wanted to see from the release structure, and you'll get to see on a micro level the success that your first project will have. Okay. Now, create your single release from this framework. Using this framework, build out a release plan using your capabilities. Okay. Everybody doesn't have the same staff, cameras, editing guys, you know, scheduling software, software to create content. Everybody doesn't have, but you want to create using this framework and build out the plan based on your capabilities. You want to see what you lack and what you're strong with, and you want to select a date to start and set a date for the big project release. So if your big project release, for some of you all who are going for a summer release, if the project is for an end of summer release, in mid-September, then you want to count back how many days you got, okay? And really, at this point, you only have room for three singles to fit in so that they actually get the, the good light of the day that you need to have them in there before you, you meet your project in the middle of September because we got like two months now, two two and a half months until the middle of September, which gives you enough time to at least work in three singles. So now all this is great, but it's not great without a foundation and a business framework to build it all upon because this is where a lot of artists go left 
or go down. It's simply because they do all this creative work, they do all this planning, all this logistical stuff, but they always forget about the business. So by the time you start making money, people are disgruntled because you're not paying folks and you're not getting your money as well. And you're up in, your arms are up in the air about what to do. Don't worry, I got you covered. What I did was I built a course called the 60 Day Record Label Course. And it's a framework to establish your record label in a perfect 60 day sequence. So you'll learn how to set up your LLC and bank account flawlessly, the correct way for base level anonymity to keep the leechers and lurkers out. And you'll set up your records and publishing division to collect domestic and international publishing royalties without the middleman taking 15%. This is necessary because we got a long rise to our third project to break public consciousness. And we're going to need the middleman out of the way and clear for any deals that may come across the table. And then we want to utilize the contract templates to get you in the game right away. What's covered in this course is BMI, ASCAP, Sound Exchange, the MLC Music Reports, Harry Fox, Luminate, AllMusicISRC.com, your music distributors, and much more. Okay? Ultimately, this is going to get your game on track and not you pushed to the back, which is where you don't want to be. You can access it right down below. Just follow the red arrow on the right hand side. Ultimately, before you start the course, book a call before it or after it, and we'll get a strategy together for you so that you can win in this game, okay? And if this is your first time watching the channel, grab the free stuff below, please. I encourage you to do so. Ultimately, here's our success. Singles get increased exposure due to the focused and concentrated rollout plan, and that's the whole point. Increased engagement from fans excited by the carefully curated buildup because, guess what, the fans are just sitting there watching your TV channel, all right? Growth in fan base due to effective exposure and promotion strategies will happen because you were very strategic in how you were going to put out the stuff, all right? And you'll have a boosted reputation as an artist who values quality over quantity. Enhanced relationships with creatives and media will come about due to inclusive publicity and more opportunities for interviews, write-ups, and collaborations due to the structured rollout plan will happen simply because you understand where to fit the media in, okay? But ultimately, if you're failing at this or if it's just not going right, if the rollout plan isn't well executed, then the single may not get the desired exposure. And if the single is whack too, it's not going to get the desired exposure. I'm just saying. So you need to have some no people in your corner to tell you if it's whack or not. Failure to properly manage the release cycle may result in oversaturation or fatigue from the audience. I'm just saying. So don't overdo it. That's why I have an up and down to it. And neglecting to adapt the plan according to feedback or changing circumstances may result in missed opportunities or decrease interest. This plan really doesn't have to be altered too much. It's almost foolproof. I'm not gonna tell you what it follows, but if you're smart enough, you can look at this plan, and you can kinda tell what plan it follows. Ultimately, I want you here with this lady with the fist in the air because she's excited that she has success. Everybody, the trick is to understand PR and how it's used to spin a narrative, not as how it's used for promotion. Yeah, it can give you some promotion, but ultimately, it's designed to spin a narrative. And when you can do that with storytelling, you're in there. All right, music money makers. So if you make music, you should always make money. Jump into the 60-day record label right down below. Grab the free stuff right down below. Book a call on musicmoneymakeover.com right down below. And I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>